Blech. This is me trying to sound intelligent when really I'm just... I'm dumber than a box of rocks sometimes, really. I have people that tell me that I'm fairly smart, but I'm like, I don't feel smart, really. Ooh, I see you have mastered the art of bird handling. I now challenge you to collect the secret statues and find your prize. Oh, great. You're gonna give me more junk to collect? <sighs> well, if you insist, fine, I'll do it. Alright, so this is kind of a neat little feature in the game. We get to do first-person shooter! Yay! I'm really terrible at first-person shooter games, except for maybe this and uh, Metroid Prime, actually. I'm actually pretty... Oh, I'm actually, I'm not, like, a pro at it or anything, or even what I'd like to consider good, but I can play the games well enough to where I'm not totally sucking, you know? Alrighty, so... When you go about doing this, um, as far as, like, this being your first time, if you're not gonna, like, if you don't want to use this as your guide to say, hey, follow the exact path that he does, which I don't advise, because I, I tend to go all over the place when I go about, like, checking stuff out. But if you do decide to figure out, like, on your own, my best advice is to take into account your surroundings and what is, what, uh, particularly obvious features stick out. Like in this room, I call this the grass room. And I know I know that I'm in this room because it's just a really large room. And in this room, there's like a bunch of zigzagging little uh, statues that kind of go like in a stair step in fashion. And another thing that is probably not obvious and simple, you can actually go up to doors and press A to open them. Um, I think you can only, that only is, that feature's only in Target Zan's Temple. As far as my memory is, uh, like, re recollecting stuff. Not bad, mortal. Ten statues gained you entry to my slightly sacred chamber. Slightly sacred, huh? And he said that with a dot 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 ellipse. So that means there's probably more statues. So let's see if we can't find them all, shall we? Didn't I just come this way? Yeah, I think I did. Oh well, it's fine. Alrighty, so... Alrighty, and I remember you had to enter the round door, but there's another door actually, yeah, right here. Because there's a Jinjo, like, right side this place, and I think this is the only shoot em out kind of area that has a Jinjo, so you definitely don't want to forget that. Alrighty, so we got the Jinjo. Let's see what else we need. We need to go back upstairs, actually, because there's a lot of statues I missed up here. Mainly one in the blue room. I call it the blue room just because, you know, for obvious reasons. I know I'm not very creative, sorry. Sometimes simplicity goes a long way whenever you try to play memory games and stuff, though. You know? Especially if you're trying to remember a girl's phone number. Sometimes it's better to, like, think of, like, okay, uh, let me see. She said this number, this number, and that number, and I just, you just think of, like, weird random things, like, I don't know. Like, the, like if there's two sevens stuck together, or if it goes in a fashion, like, Seven seven or seven zero six nine or something random like that. And I'm not saying that's anybody's number, like the last four digits of anybody's number. Anyway, what are we talking about? Talking re remembering girlfriends' numbers? Yeah, I need to stop. Okay, so we got 15 statues. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the last five are in there. Okay, right near Mr. Dartman, the troll of old statue, sitting there waiting for us to go and detonate all over us. He's gonna, like, seek his revenge, or use his target practice, better yet. Alrighty. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these statues out of here, because he's not gonna be using them. He's just sitting there, looking at them like, Duh. Most impressed, Moto. Twenty statues gain you entry to my really sacred chamber. Cool. Alright, so now that we have all uh, the statues collected, let's go ahead and enter the chambers that were opened up for us. Hopefully I enter the slightly cha slightly sacred chamber first, because if I recollect... Ow! Dude! You have to enter the one that he opens up first for it to be considered the slightly ch uh, sacred chamber. I think this is it right here. If not, oops, my bad. Oh, my nose. What the heck knows? <laughs> they even give it the title. Slightly sacred chamber. Nice. Alright, cool beans. We got a jiggy. Awesome sauce. Yo-yo. Yeah, yeah. Or gold nugget! Sorry. I keep forgetting to do that, but I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe I should just, like, drop that joke, honestly. 
it really didn't seem like it attracted a lot of attention or laughs for people, but maybe a few people that thought it was rather funny. Get out of here. Okay, so, before going on into the final chamber, what you're going to want to do is come over here where this golden sack of eggs is. You're going to grab these golden eggs. You're then going to enter this door, take a nice long shot straight over here, like your, le like your link from Legend of Zelda going through the water temple. Take a right, you know, assuming you have to go through just to get over here to get to the really sacred chamber. Or you can just go straight into the door that's right next to you when you first exit that one door that you just long shot it through. The really sacred chamber. Look, Banjo! There's another Jiggy! This is just too easy! Yep! We'll have the game finished in no time! Oh man, you guys shouldn't have said anything. We probably actually would have snuck by it. Oh my gosh, wow. Hold, Mortal. Thought you'd get another Jiggy that easily, eh? Well, yeah, you were offering. The Spazic Dizzy Totem God. <laughs> I am Target Zen, mighty Mayan god of target shooting. Prepare to meet thy dart ridden doom! How corny can you get? Prepare to meet thy dart ridden doom. What the fudge, man? Seriously. Ugh, I can't feel my legs anymore. Get him, you worthless muggies! Oh, that's what they're called, okay. Eat that. Alrighty, so really the only thing I can say about this fight is you just gotta keep strafing by pressing the right C or left C buttons, and you'll get through this really easily. If you didn't grab the golden eggs, or you ran out of golden eggs by now, don't worry because you don't actually need them. I just grabbed them because it makes this fight go by a lot faster. All you have to do is shoot, keep shooting the targets and hitting them, and you'll be set in stone, pretty much like this guy is. Or clay, whatever he is, I don't know. Crap, I'm gonna run out of golden eggs. Die! Get out of here! Alright, now we actually have to play it safe. Alright, so, we're gonna wait for that to go. Shoot an egg. This last one can be a little tricky, because there's actually three target shooters. And if you, like, if you don't move, actually, and you try to sit in one spot and shoot the targets, you could actually potentially have a game over right there and then. Well, not really game over, because there aren't any lives in this game like the last game. Kind of glad they took that out, sort of, but in another, in another sense, it kind of took out the meaning of dying in this game, you know? You know, the penalty I mean for it. No! You've beaten me! Now suffer as I invoke my sacred self-destruct! Oh, crap. Let's hide and duck and cover here. Kaboom. Nice. That's kind of epic that he just, like, exploded on the last second there. Alrighty, so, with that Jiggy, or the golden nugget, we have completely grabbed all the golden nuggets that we can possibly obtain inside Target Zan's temple. Yay! Woohoo! So, uh, I think we're pretty much... Or Target Zan's temple. Mayan temple. There we go. That's what I wanted to say, I think. And I believe this pretty much marks the end of all the things you can do within uh, Mayan something temple. What the heck is the name of this place, man? I keep calling it Mayan something. Mayan temple, there we go. You'll notice that we have one Jiggy missing. There's a reason for that, actually. We can't actually grab all the Jiggies in this game all at once for every world, you know, like we could in the last game. We actually have to revisit worlds. Backtracking for the win. You actually have to backtrack it to the worlds to get all the Jiggies. Because sometimes you're going to find Jiggies you can't get because of certain moves that you need to learn yet. But anyway, this has been Let's Play Banjo Tui. I'm Silent Senior 09. And thank you all for watching very much. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tails fly up. And as question of the video to finish this off as I exit the world Um, do you still own a, a Nintendo 64? Like, are you, do you guys play this, I don't know if this is offered on the Xbox Live Arcade, but I'm just curious to see who all owns a Nintendo 64 if you still play this game. Leave it in the comments, and I'll be glad to read them. Thanks, guys. Peace out.